my two options are I have a 10 to 20% chance for cancer cure if I amputate my left leg or I keep my leg and I never am cured and I go into palliative care to improve the quality of my life. I have to make a really hard decision. Last week, I got my left leg amputated above the knee. It's been a really long week since then. Very new experiences and very weird sensations. Phantom pains are real. I've been having phantom sensations where my left leg used to be. So I feel um, a lot of pins and needles. I still feel like my whole leg is there. I feel like my foot is there. Uh, if someone sits too close to where my leg would be, I feel it. It's very strange. This is my epidural pump and I trigger it by pressing this button. And what it does, it makes my lower half um, totally numb, which is supposed to help with phantom pain and phantom sensations. The first day was rough, um, waking up and having that obvious feeling that your leg is no longer there. Um, it took me about a day and a half, two days to finally look and I only looked that early because the physiotherapist made me look. Um, the brain does not understand that my leg is not there. So the more I look and get my brain used to that fact, the faster it's going to move on and stop having these phantom sensations. Every day I do some mirror therapy where I reflect my right leg into the mirror and I look into the mirror to look at my reflection, which would be my left leg. And I have to like do movements, bend my knee, rotate my ankle to trick my brain into thinking that my leg is still there so that that area of the brain stays active and so that it can eventually move on and be used somewhere else in my body. I've been doing okay, um, but then again, it could be all the drugs that I'm currently hooked up on. So they all, most of them are coming off tomorrow, so let's see how I feel from Wednesday. If there's anything else you want to know about amputations, let me know in the comments. Everybody, first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much for all the positive feedback and all the uh, positive comments. Um, it really was nice to read it. Um, I noticed that I got a, quite a few comments about why I amputated my leg, so I'd like to explain about that briefly. Last year when I got my first um, tumour, uh, it was in uh, August, I had a surgery where they cut the tumour out from my leg and after that I went through 30 sessions of radiation and it was really high dose. So it really burnt my leg and left an open gaping wound. Um, I will show you a picture of that now. So this is the wound here on my leg. Um, I hope TikTok doesn't make me um, delete this video, but you can see how big it is compared to my leg. A new tumor also came back on my same leg and it was on my knee. And I would have had to undergo chemotherapy as well. Because of the size of the wound and the fact that it wasn't closing, I would not have been a good candidate for aggressive chemo and I would have only been offered palliative chemo, which means there would be no cure on my future and I would uh, have to undergo just palliative chemo to make my life comfortable and my prognosis is really bad. 
So because of this open wound and the new tumor on my leg and the fact that I was racing against time to get started on chemo, amputation was my only move forward in order to possibly have a cure on my horizon. In less than two weeks, I was given the option of amputation and also had to make the decision to amputate. It was a really fast decision and I didn't have time to really grieve that loss. So it was very, very, very difficult. If I had kept my leg and done just the palliative chemo, um, I would die by next year. So at the end of this wound healing process, hopefully again in two weeks, I will start a very aggressive four and a half month uh, chemo treatment and then lung surgery to get rid of the two small tumors in my lungs. So this isn't even the hard part.